What is up everyone, Mike here, and today we're going to be looking at Case E of the 2021 Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. Alright, so Case E of the 2021 Hot Wheels Monster Trucks, a very, very interesting case. And another interesting fact with this case is we actually have a trait or chase piece, trace truck, treasure hunt, whatever you guys want to call it. I'm just going to call it chase piece because I'm just so used to calling them that. And the interesting thing with this chase piece is it's actually not a truck on the back of the card. If you guys know the Hot Wheels shuttle bus, Sadly, I do not have one yet. Chase pieces for Hot Wheels have been insanely, insane hard to uh, get here in New Jersey. If I'm, I've only found one. So, it is the Hot Wheels Shuttle Bus. I don't know if... You guys probably know what that looks like. It's the Red Flames, the Blue Bus. It's a pretty cool looking truck, to be honest. And that is the Chase Piece or Treasure Hunt Piece for Case E of the 2021 Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. But the main thing with this case is it has a pretty solid amount of trucks, or at least good looking trucks. So looking on the back of the card here, we see the return of the Volkswagen Drag Bus, which was pretty cool. Last year, you know, that. This year it's a copy and paste, but it was pretty big last year. Then we got a brand new Roger Dodger. We have Loco Punk Toxic. Then we have Race Ace, which was a brand new truck for this year, earlier in the year, I believe. Then we have the Midwest Madness, which is coming out of nowhere. Then we have something kind of brand new with Podium Crasher with those tires, which is really cool. And then we have something at the left field, which I don't think anyone really saw this coming. We have Battle Cat, which is from He-Man, I believe. So that came out of nowhere. And another truck that comes out of nowhere is Nacho... What was it? Nacho Mamas? <laughs> I thought it was Nacho Madness, but it's Nacho Mamas. Nacho Mamas? Yeah, I guess so. So that's kind of interesting. Very interesting case, to say the least. And what I'm going to do here is, like I do in every video, I'm going to lease my favorite one to my favorite one. Now, the treasure hunt truck, the shuttle bus, whatever you guys want to call it, I'm not going to list that here because clearly I don't have it. But um, I think with tre treasure pieces or chase pieces, I'm going to make a... Uh, video at the end of the year just basically combining all of them and seeing what one you know i like the most what one i didn't like you know whatever the case may be but um that's for later on in the year but right now we're going to start this video off with the truck that i think is the least well at least in my opinion the one i like the least out of all these trucks so far all right so the truck coming in at number eight is a truck we kind of seen a lot lately and this one i've really seen it on the pegs a lot and i think it's because it's been in case this is case e and i believe case f or g and it's kind of odd because it's in both cases and i'm just gonna have to rank it last because of that however it is the second time we are seeing it it is none other than the super fueled um local punk which is truck number 37 out of 75 now i like the truck uh i mean it's getting too much of it this is definitely a big peg warmer here in new jersey it's always on the pegs and i got really nothing against it however to have it in two or three cases well two cases around the same time you know three cases got released at the same time it's kind of interesting and on the back here it's actually in this case. Oh, I got that card. Um, they actually do have different cases, I think, on the back. So it's interesting that this one actually has the uh, case E. But for Local Punk, I like the chassis, or I like the. Oh my god. The tooling and the casting. But I don't know. I mean, this is the, technically the second time we're seeing it. We did see its normal version, or at least the neon version, which was really cool in the second case of this year, case B. But for this case, seeing it back to back, I don't know, just not working for me. And then the next truck on this list is a truck that we're all too familiar with, and it's none other than Roger Dodgers. So the reason why this one, I don't have it in basically the, um, packaging is because i thought i had it already and i opened this one i mean i like roger dodger this is truck two out of 75 now it's kind of interesting with roger dodger because there's a couple of them and 
when this one first got released, I thought this was going to be like a treasure hunt or a chase piece, but it's actually not. And that's kind of interesting. This one was released, I would say, in 2019 or 2020 with one of the double packs. But that double pack that this one came in was insanely hard to find in my area. And it's nice to see this Roger Dodger back now. I kind of like the gold. I like the purple and gold. It's like a weird, unique color pattern. But, I don't know. I feel like this should have been the treasure hunt or chase piece. Now, there is a Roger Dodger treasure hunt. I think it's the fifth treasure hunt piece or chase piece. Whatever you guys want to call it. I don't know what case that's in. But, you know, it's pretty cool that this is here. However, this case has a lot more better trucks in my opinion. I like Roger Dodger, but compared to the new stuff in this one, eh. And coming in at number six was a brand new truck for this year. A truck that really no one saw coming because it was straight from a video game. And it's none other than Race Ace. So, this is actually a pretty cool truck. And the fact that it says on the top that it's Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Live... I wonder if the truck is actually going to be on the circuit. I, I kind of hope it is. I don't know if Monster Trucks Live actually had a show with this yet. Um, as of filming, it's August 4th, so I, I don't know. Maybe. But this truck is pretty cool. The history behind it is cool. I don't think anyone really saw this. And when this thing came out, it was pretty... Um, it was nice. However, I do wish they made the Bigfoot Cruiser scheme on the trophy truck body which they won't <laughs> and i believe this came out early like second case third case mm, case b so that's how old this one is and when you say case b now in august it's like it seems like that was so long ago and looking at that case you can tell things got better but um yeah cool truck all around this truck is actually in the um there's another version of this truck in the play loop the play loop set that's like glow in the dark which is pretty cool so that's pretty cool but however in this case we've seen it already and because of that it's got a rank low and cracking the top five is going to be a brand new truck i guess a truck i never really heard of before but a nice casting and it's going to be midwest madness so this thing's pretty cool and it's truck number two out of five for the crush paint or paint crush and it's also truck number 36 out of 75 i like this lime green it's got going on and the yellow i mean i like the color coat it's pretty nice out of the paint crush i wouldn't say this is my favorite one and looking at the casting you can tell it's that bigfoot casting i'm okay with that um i think they're using it pretty well this casting was bigfoot it was the plankton truck for spongebob and a couple other things i believe as well i think midwest madness is the normal casting name for it maybe not too sure on that but it is nice to see something a little new a little new refreshing um the flyover frenzies the crash attack the strength is up for anything the truck type is picking up pickup and the name is midwest madness not a bad overall truck i must say it does look pretty cool it does get brownie points when i first saw this i thought it was gonna be another toxic truck but paint crush or crush paint series pretty cool pretty solid However, these next four trucks are just too much better. All right, and coming in at number four, it's a truck that was new last year. And when it came out last year, it was pretty insane. It was definitely one of the hardest trucks to get. And I really like it. And it's none other than truck number 33 out of 75 for this year. And it is truck number four out of the Crass Legends. It is the Volkswagen Drag Bus. This is pretty cool. I like this thing. It is definitely one of the heaviest castings. It's awesome, and just because I have this right next to me, we're going to compare the two. Um, you can tell it is identical. There is nothing different with these two trucks. You got the one on the right from 2020, which was truck number 68 out of 75, and this year it is truck number 33 out of 75. There is 100% no difference with these trucks. Last year it was in Hot Wheels Flames. This year it's in Crash Legends. And it's just overall a cool looking truck. I like it. Um, one thing I always wanted to do was always compare the stats on the back of these. And right here we actually have the chance to do it, which is pretty unique. So truck type van, truck type van. Uh, strength is the fantastic speed. Looks like it's still the strength. Crash attack is the drag down. They both have the same 
crash attack. And of course, last year the trucks had motivation. This year they don't. So pretty interesting. Um, this is just one simple case of how Hot Wheels does the copy and paste, which I don't like what they do. But we did see a different version of the Volkswagen Drag Bus earlier this year. I think it was like a wood grain finish on it. But you can just tell right here with the packaging how much bigger <laughs> it is. But um, yeah, pretty cool. Volkswagen Drag Bus. I'm glad to see it's back. I want to see more of it. Maybe another paint scheme, maybe a food truck later on in the year or something. That'd be cool. All right, and now we get to the hardest part. Now is the top three. So this gets kind of hard and kind of uh, I don't know where to go. But we're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go with this one for number three. And this is truck number 35 out of 75, and it's none other than a brand new casting called Nacho Nacho Mamas. So kind of interesting, um, kind of a funny name. I like this truck, it looks pretty cool. Now the funny thing with this though, is this truck was actually in a two pack, but the truck was blue. So that's pretty cool, and I ended up getting the two pack before I got this one. Now a lot of people could say this truck looks weird because of the wheel gap on it, but honestly I like it. It looks pretty solid, not gonna lie. And one cool thing with this casting, now I'm not too sure what casting this is, I think this might be a brand new casting. If you guys know the game Twisted Metal, um, if anyone can turn this into a custom Sweet Tooth ice cream truck, that would be awesome. <laughs> Hot Wheels, do it. <laughs> but um, pretty cool looking truck. I like on this one too because the door on the side where it says Nacho Mamas, that actually opens. And that's a cool little feature this casting has. And it is also truck number two out of six for Fast Foodie. And here is the back. The crash attack is the Melty Crunch. The strength is hot and saucy. The truck type is City and the name is Nacho Mamas. Really cool looking truck. Not a bad looking truck. Definitely one that's not a peg warmer. I've only seen maybe two or three of these on the peg. So this truck goes pretty quick. Alright, and the second truck coming in second place in this mix is the truck that I thought, personally, was the chase piece for this set, or for this case, and I didn't really know. It was one of the first trucks I saw, and it was kind of, everyone's kind of like, wow, what is this? And it came out of left field, and it's none other than truck number 38 out of 75, and it's Battle Cat. So... Very interesting that Hot Wheels came out of nowhere with He-Man. Now, I know He-Man was a cartoon in like the 80s, early 90s kind of, and I never was a big fan of it. The, um, the main thing people probably know from He-Man is Skeletor, and um, if they make a Skeletor truck down the road, that would be awesome. That would be icing on the cake. That would be pretty insane. But I like this truck. It looks pretty cool. And the cool thing with this too is that red piece actually can come off. So you can have the truck as all green or you could put, I guess, Battle Cat's cape or whatever they call it in the show on. And of course, any truck that's basically after a TV show or cartoon or anything, they have the logo right here on the top right or of the... Um, whoever it is, and I like that. I like how Hot Wheels did that. I kind of really enjoy that. So here's the back of it, and the name is Battle Cat, the truck type is Character, the strength is Speed and Power, and the crash attack is Pounce and Trouts. Trouts? Pounce and Trouts? All right. But um, yeah, overall, cool looking truck. Um, if you're older and you know He-Man or you watch, used to watch it, it's kind of cool to see a reminisce. I think this series He-Man just got renewed or just got remade on Netflix too. I saw a commercial or something for it. So that's pretty cool as well as I'm starting to see more and more He-Man stuff in the toy section too as well. But this truck does not sit on the pegs long. So this one could be kind of hard to find. However, it is not as hard to find as the next one. All right. So you guys probably knew this from the start that this was going to be number one. This is something really cool. Something I really enjoy and it's truck number 34 out of 75 and truck number four out of six for the twisted treads and it's none other than podium crasher so this thing looks cool i love this so obviously we had the tank treads with the jeep with invader 
and those are okay. I, I understand them. They're good. They're all right. This is awesome. This is probably one of the coolest things Hot Wheels has done. Now, Podium Crasher by itself, I like the truck. I like the trophy truck body. I like the paint scheme. I like how it fits the mud scheme. It looks very well put together. The truck is actually a matted... It looks matted. Actually, I haven't opened it because I only have one. But um, it looks cool. I like this paint scheme. I like this truck. It just flows. And the first time I saw this without really looking at it, just like first glance, I thought it was Carolina Crusher. <laughs> um, it was pretty funny. I was like, oh my god, Hot Wheels made that? That's sick. But uh, no, it's probably a Crusher. But nonetheless, this truck is actually kind of hard to find in my area. I've only ever found one, and that's it. Um... However, the selling point on this truck is definitely those tires, and you can really see how skinny they are, and that is so cool, because going back to, you know, basically the roots of monster trucks, you know, before they were crushing cars, they were running for mud, and they were mud, mud boggers and all that, and um, it's cool to see that. I really, really hope Hot Wheels makes some more trucks with these tires, because it's, it's something really cool, something really out of left field. And I don't think anyone really realized that was it. When we saw the tank treads and everything, I was like, okay, that's cool. Um, what else could they possibly do? And the fact that they put the mud tires on, that is insane. Actually, this is not... It says Podium Crasher, but it actually says El Cigando? El Cigando? I don't know. I can't speak Spanish. I don't know. <laughs> But, um, that's weird. I just realized that. It actually says Podium Crash down here, but the name of the truck is something totally different. So that's kind of interesting. This actually kind of makes me wonder now, because now Hot Wheels has two trucks with the tractor treads, or tank treads. They have one truck with this tread, and there are six of them. So I wonder if we're going to see something new, and maybe one more mud tread. It's going to be very interesting. But yeah, guys, that's going to wrap it up for Case E. This case was actually a very strong case. Now, the weird thing is Case E, F, and G, <laughs> they all kind of came out at the same time in my area. So it was kind of like a cluster of them all. And now we're at that stage where they're all gone, basically, and there's nothing in stores. So hopefully soon I can find the chase pieces. If not, eBay is always a great option. But, um... <laughs> Yeah, it's a really good case. I, I like this case. Out of the three, I think this one might be the strongest one. There's a lot of new stuff in here. You know, not counting, you know, Nacho Mamas. If we didn't get that double pack, that would have been a brand new one. Battle Cat was out of left field. And really the star of this case is that Podium Crasher with those tire treads. That That is just hands down awesome. Really solid case. Um... Definitely, probably the third or second best case in my opinion so far this year. Can't wait to see what else Hot Wheels has in store for us. But, who knows? <laughs> but let me know in the comments what you guys think, what one you think is the best. If you guys like Podium Crasher, maybe you're a huge He-Man fan and you'd love Battle Cat. If they make Skeletor, that would be sick. But I don't know if they will. The Nacho Mamas is cool. The Volkswagen Drag Bus, that's just, that's crazy still. <laughs> but, um, yeah, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in another video very shortly.